Radar guns work by transmitting a frequency, an FCC frequency, either X, K, or KA, and they depend on reflectivity, reflective off a, a car or a truck or a motorcycle. Once the signal is reflected off an object, a vehicle, there's a change or a shift in the frequency. Just to give an example, if it's a K-band radar gun, which is the most common frequency, which is 24.150 gigahertz, that would transmit out off from the radar gun and reflect off the object. Once it reflects off the object, there's a change or a shift in the frequency that gets transmitted or reflected back to the radar gun, and the radar gun reads the difference between the frequency that went out and the frequency that comes back, and that's what displays a speed in the radar gun. That's called the Doppler shift, or the Doppler principle. That's how radar guns, all radar guns work the exact same way. That's Typical right, target right. range uh, for a police radar gun is between 8 and 1,200 feet. You talk about the size of the, the yes. radar cone as it goes out? Okay, that's called beam divergence, and that can be explained like a uh, flashlight, pulling a flashlight against the wall. As you pull the flashlight out, the beam gets bigger and bigger and bigger. It spreads out. Radar guns do this exact same thing. At distance, the beam gets larger. So a typical targeting range of 1,000 feet, a uh, K-band radar beam could be as, as big as 300 feet in diameter, a cone going down the road. With radar, you can get advanced warning because the radar signal is so big, say 300 feet at 1,000 feet, plus it continues on past the cars and it scatters and you get reflective signal. With laser, because it's so small, it's all concentrated on the vehicle at 1,000 feet, there's no scatter for advanced detection range with laser.